Competitive research is a really important part of owning a digital product store. Now you should always understand what is happening in your niche. You should understand the type of sales volume that is going on, if certain products are really hot right now, and what your market leaders are doing in terms of their product range, the amount of products that they have in their store, the way that they present things. All of this information is really important and it makes up the quality benchmark of what is happening in your industry. So it's really important to be across it so you can make sure you meet those quality standards. Now it's really important to make sure you take this information, you think about it and you use it to create new products. You never want to go out of your way to copy someone else's work. Along with being ethically wrong, it really doesn't serve you. It's really important to develop those skills of being able to take the information and create new things so you're not a follower but instead you become a market leader. So let's jump into Insight Factory and I'll show you how to use their store analyzer. Here I am in Insight Factory. You can see down the side, I have Etsy Shop Analyzer selected. And you can see all of the stores that I searched previously are saved here. So if you wanna track certain stores, you can definitely search them and Insight Factory will save them here. Now, if I wanted to search my junk journal store, I would go up here where it says shop name and type in the name of my store. And you can see it's gonna bring up quite a lot of information. So we have things like the open date, we have the number of active listings, we have the seven day revenue, 30 day number of sales, we have the shop location. There really is everything that you need to know here. Now, if you scroll down, you'll also be able to see the listings that are currently performing really strongly in these stores, along with the tags and the price. So this can be really helpful in terms of thinking, right, how can I create a product which is my own, but along the lines of these themes or colors or is it the presentation which is really pushing it over the top? What do I need to improve when it comes to my listings to meet these industry benchmarks? Now, if you want to view this store on Etsy, you can also click this button here. It'll just pop up a new tab of what that store looks like. Now, how many competitors should you track? I usually track between 10 and 20 in the niche I'm actively focused on, and that's to get a really great rounded perspective on what is currently selling. You don't wanna copy the types of trends that just one store is doing either. That is a dangerous road to tread. You definitely want a well-rounded view of exactly what is happening industry-wide, niche-wide, so you can create new products that are hopefully gonna become best-selling market leaders. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next lesson.